there's the sign. All right, little D-Gen story time before we dump into Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Um, so, I was, um, I was hanging out Saturday night um, with Cat, Buddhist, um, and a uh, uh, Cat Buddhist and I forget who else was on the line. I think Caleb may have been kind of there, but you fucking clipped out fairly like early. Um, um, so I have, let's call it a net out, right? Fisherman, right? Um, anybody who wants to hook up anybody that wants to have a certain level of sexual activity um especially that of a kinky style in their life you got to keep the net out right you got to keep the line in the water you got to keep fishing you got to keep fishing the, the fish ain't going to jump into your boat for you usually so you got to keep fishing so we were playing uh, we were playing zomboid had some food going in the background and something came through and so um you say God has made you a fisher of men. Yeah, Marcus. Um, praise Jeebus. So, <clears throat> something comes through. And I, um, let's just hang on. Let's, uh, for the purposes of. So, I'm like, all right, all right, boys. I'm going to have to go at, like, midnight. Like, I need to, like, leave at midnight. So, like... 11.45, that sort of thing. We were making decent progress, too, on Zomboid, which we got to the next day. But, so, I'm like, I gotta go. So, what happened was, um, in summation, I almost killed a guy. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I very, really almost killed a guy, and in the most ego boosting fucking ridiculous manner ever um there's no way to walk out of this situation without like yeah there's no fucking way there's no fucking way um so the guy was into uh some pup play that was his deal he had the mask he had the, the, the sort of persona for it. He likes to be considered, a, you know, a pup, a dog. All right, whatever. I was there for another reason. Um, let's just say, because you know I don't like to get too gory with the details. Um, let's just say all bases were checked. Um, but um, it's going to... So, for those that follow along with Kai's level of degeneracy, arm deep. From what you described, I'd call him a puppet, says Caboose. Yes, um, arm deep. Impressive. It actually impressive. I was I complimented him several times. I was like, not bad, not bad. Um, so <laughs> Buddhist, I can hear you say that. Um, dude, over nine thousand. Yeah, Aspen. Yeah, and um, it's okay. Not, but. Yeah. Like proper. Mm -mm. Mm. It was it was impressive. What's up, Glazy? Um it was impressive. But it is not any of the um it wasn't any of that that was the uh potential damage. I didn't kill him by that. 
It's very impressive, his capability doing that. Um, when I first walked in, I had him kneeling in front um, of me. Um, I looked down and I noticed a couple of things. I noticed a jaw sort of, okay, he's got the pup mask, but I can still see movement. And I'm noticing like an elevated breathing rate and not just like a normal elevated breathing rate. I'm seeing like a labored breathing. So I ask, because I don't put up with that, by the way. I don't put up with that. I said, are you spun? No, he wasn't spun. For those of you who uh, don't know what spun means, it means on crystal meth. Um, so I looked at him and I said, are you spun? No, he wasn't. He sort of, he goes, I have to, have, and he takes off the fucking pup mask, right? And I look at him and I'm like, what's going on? I move him to his couch, get him off his knees and move into his couch, right? Um, and just talk him down a little bit and, oh, fucking a cat. Um, talk him down a little bit from it. And I'm like, what's going on? And he goes, I had childhood asthma that scarred my lungs very badly. <sighs> and occasionally I can get an anxiety attack and it'll trigger my asthma like it used to be. <sighs> and I'm like, okay, so what triggered your anxiety attack? Now, I'm still standing over him. I've just got him sitting on the couch. And he looks up at me. And he goes, You're just so hot. I don't know why you're here. I almost killed a dude by being hot, guys. He almost fucking suffocated to death. Like, he almost had an asthma attack. And, like, completely pass the fuck out because I was hot caboose I told you there's no way to walk away from the situation situation without just like liquid ego fuel right like it's just absolutely absolutely ridiculous yeah I almost killed a dude by being hot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the level of gayness I feel in this moment. So that's how it started. It finished with me arm deep, which just impressive, impressive capability in that gentleman. Um, I was, I was right, right chuffed. I was fucking, yeah, that's that's damn. Um, with no warm up. Mm -hmm. It was impressive. Um, but damn your hotness. Um, yeah, so that's that's sort of what happened there. Um, you know, after I got him calmed down and okay and understanding that I'm there for a good time and fucking, you know, just just leave it at the door, man. No worries. No worries. Which, by the way, I made him answer the door naked. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um... I do that with most of the subs. If I'm going there, yeah. If they come here, they're naked as soon as they walk in. If I go there, they enter the door naked. Um, dude, I love, I love, this is my favorite part about being a Dom, by the way, is no surprises. I love no surprises. I absolutely adore it. I just, I, I outline and any deviation from that, I get to like whip somebody's ass for it. <laughs> Are you shitting me? It's a great from from for my brain. Yeah, that makes that feels good. That feels good. The topping, whatever. Uh, <laughs> the actual doming. I I will tell you, I get more I get more out of the doming than I do the topping. The topping means nothing to me. The doming, on the other hand, holy shit, that scratches an itch. Um, but yeah, I you know, almost killed a dude by being attractive. Um, and then I went fucking arm deep in him. 
and then balls, balls deep. Um, but yeah, it was, um, a cat. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was, so I, you know, a couple hours rolled out, came home, fucking fed myself again. Uh, cause you know, I got a modicum of food in me, but I didn't want to, um, you know, stuff myself, you know, in performance mode. I just need a little bit of protein and some carbs, you know, slow burn carbs to, for the athletic activity that I'd be engaging in. And, you know, I, I, I treat him, uh, I treated him, you know, I, I, I know my aftercare, right. And so I knew what he needed and what he, what he, what he needed more than what he wanted afterwards. Um, so I took care of him, but yeah, came home and then the next day we actually got to finish the Project Zomboid stuff that I wanted to, like, you know, finish with Buddhist. Um, but yeah, that, that was, that was the DGen story time from the weekend.